Welcome to PV Storytime, children's books read aloud. Hi everyone, today I'm going to read you the story, What Should Danny Do? by my favorite authors, Gannett and Adir Levy. First, I want to thank the authors for sending me this amazing book and the gifts. I also want to apologize to the authors for not publishing this video earlier because I was busy with school. The book has nine stories with different endings depending on the choices that Danny makes. In this video, I'm going to tell the story my way based on my choices. Thank you for stopping by and I hope we all enjoy the story. What Should Danny Do? Written by Gannett and Adir Levy Illustrated by Matt Sadler Hi, my name is Danny. My favorite things in the whole world are soccer, superheroes, and ninjas. I also love skateboards, but I don't have one yet. You may be wondering why I'm wearing a cape, so I'll let you in on my secret. I'm a superhero in training. That means I have some superpowers, but I'm still working on the rest. For example, I jump super high. I run super fast. I have super muscles. And even though I can't fly just yet, I'm still working on it. Daddy says that my most important superpower of all is my power to choose. With this power, I can change my day by changing my choices. He even gives me the coolest new cape so that I won't forget. Today is a special day because you'll be making choices for me. When you get to the end of the day, you can start over and make different choices. Then we'll see if the power to choose really does change my day. Ready? Let's go! Mmm, do I smell pancakes? I love pancakes! I zoom downstairs. Chocolate chip pancakes! I yell. But then I see my brother Charlie eating from our ninjutsu ninja plate. That plate is my favorite. I want the ninja plate, I say. I know you love that plate, Mommy says, but Charlie is already eating from it. She puts two pancakes in front of me, but they're on an alphabet plate. I already know my alphabet. What should Danny do? Eat the pancakes on the alphabet plate. Go to page 26. Yell until he gets the ninja plate. Go to page 16. I want to see what happens if he does the bad choice. Let's go to page 16. I yell. I stomp. I scream. No fair! I want the ninja plate, I say. It isn't helping. I push the alphabet plate away from me. My super muscles are so strong that the plate zooms into the pitcher of orange juice. Oops, it spills everywhere. Orange juice on the table, orange juice on the floor, orange juice on my pancakes. Yuck! Mommy hands me a towel. Great. Now my pancakes are ruined and I have to clean up the mess. Wiping up the juice takes forever and now I'm stuck with the cereal. Cereal doesn't charge my super muscles like pancakes do. I finish eating and see Charlie playing with our new race car set. I wanted to race the cars. Charlie licks his fingers loudly with a smirk on his face. I think he's making fun of me for not getting pancakes. What should Danny do? Knock the race car set down, go to page 12. Find a way to play with Charlie, go to page 30. Like I said, I want to see what's going to happen to Danny if he chooses a bad choice. So let's go to page 12. I summon my super strength and he ya! Boom! Crash! The track breaks into pieces! Mommy comes into the living room. What happened here? She asks. Danny caked it down! Charlie cries. Mommy isn't happy. I was planning on taking you to the park. But now you'll be staying home, she says. Please clean this mess up, boys. 
Cleaning up toys I didn't even play with is no fun, and I don't get to play soccer at the park. After lunch, Charlie is playing the Ninjutsu Ninja video game. I want to play, I tell him. Wait till I finish this game, he says. I wait and wait and wait for like a thousand minutes. You're taking too long. Let me play, I say as I reach for the controller. I'm not done yet, Charlie yells. He elbows my hand away. What should Danny do? Wait until Charlie is done with his game. Go to page 64. Grab the controller out of Charlie's hands. Go to page 66. I want to see what happens if Danny grabs the controller out of Charlie's hands. So let's go to page 66. I swipe the controller out of his hands. Charlie rushes to get it. But before he does, his game is over. You lose. My turn, I say. No way, you made me lose, he yells. He jumps at me and tries to wrestle me to the ground. I push him back, but he kicks me in the shin. Ow, I yell. Just before I unleash my super kick, Mommy walks in. What's going on here, she asks. Danny swiped the controller out of my hands, Charlie yells. But Charlie wouldn't let me play, I say. Mommy isn't happy. Both of you need to go to your rooms and calm down, she says, and no screen time for a week. I don't feel like a superhero anymore. This was the absolute worst day ever. I wonder what I could have done to make it better. This is the end of the second story in this book. Bye for now. We'll see you next time to read another story. everyone thank you so much for watching my video i hope you all enjoyed the story if you like it please give a thumbs up or share it and remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new videos have a great day and see you in my next video